Sean Watson, you know, I mean, they, they stretched you with their, their receivers, you know, horizontally and created seams of the defense. And then, you know, if you don't fit exactly where you're supposed to or you miss a tackle, they're going to have a big play. And, and that's what happened. I mean, uh, they're, they're, those guys made plays when they needed to. They broke tackles and, uh, you know, made some people miss. But they both did a heck of a job. About left. Coach uh, Jordan, I got with Newburn Sun Journal. I'm just kind of in a game like this when you got two really good teams, three really good quarterbacks, good players at every position matching up with each other, I, and obviously a close game like that where at the end you had a chance to win. Now, now that you can, I mean, obviously you'll have more time to reflect, but yeah. you know, I mean, what's your kind of overall thoughts on, on? I mean, have you thought about anything yet? Like one thing or a couple things you could have done differently in this one? Oh, I mean. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's a lot of things. I mean, we had a tip ball down there that was we were going in, you know, on the red zone that uh, we we're going to score a touchdown there on that throw, and the ball gets tipped and, and they get a pick out of it, you know, and then they, that's on the three yard line and they take it back and go the entire distance there. So that's really a 14 point swing, you know. So yeah, there's a lot of things. I mean, there's some things that you know I'd love to do differently, but you don't get to second guess yourself. I mean, we everybody, you guys get to do that in the paper, but we don't get to do that really. So. And it just it is what it is. Back right. right. No, Brett McMillan, WBT. And Marquise, you come back to Charlotte again, and it's twice in Charlotte this year you have not been able to come through with a win. Does that just you way at you? Oh yeah, it's, it's tough, you know, come back in hometown and just not be able to get a win. But I'm glad. I'm, I'm excited the way we fought today. You know, a lot of people thought we was going to come out here and just lay an egg the way we did, but we didn't. We came out and fought to the end. That's what I love about this team. And you know, oh, so what? I didn't win. I mean, I like the outcome of my team. Uh, Larry Andrew Carter here with the News and Observer. With the game, with the way the game ended, with the off, with, with the uh, the offsides penalty, how much more difficult does that make it for you, knowing that you should have had a chance that, that you didn't get? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we would have uh, gone down and scored, but there was uh, it was like a minute and eight seconds left on the clock. We should have had the ball. I mean, at about midfield, uh, and the way we had moved it the last couple series, I, I would have felt pretty good about that, you know. So it. Uh, it, it, it isn't going to change. It doesn't matter one way or the other. So I'm going to have to swallow it like a man and, and just take it. And uh, that's just the way it is. You know, so we, uh, we came up short. Not, don't, don't take anything away from what Clemson did tonight because they are a dang good football. They're the number one team in the country. And, uh, they, you know, you got to give them credit, you know, and we'll be, we'll be pulling for them. Here's the room. Tyler Duke, Fox Sports South. Marquise, can you talk about Clemson's front seven and how tough their pass rush was tonight? Oh, those are guys who get after you. Um, they were big, big and physical and then um, fast. And, you know, I, I credit going up to that defense. They played one heck of a game tonight. And it was fun to go against a, a good competition. You know, I love competition. We love competition. And they played a heck of a game tonight. Front, front, front. Coach John McCain from the Herald Sun in Durham. Coach, is it too soon to tell if Sam Smiley could have shown up anything on the defensive end? Well, I mean, you, you, obviously Sam was our starter, and yeah, we would have loved to have him, but it just doesn't it doesn't work out that way. He went down, and he, you know, the next guy stepped up. Dominique, I'm sure, played well. I, I, I don't know how he played in the game, but uh, you know, you you'd have loved to have him, but it doesn't it just doesn't happen that way. Guy goes down, next guy's got to step up, and everybody's got to pull pull up their boots a little higher, and they got to make it work, and uh, you know. I, I mean, again, our guys played hard tonight now. They played hard. You know, did, did everything go the way we wanted to? No. But they played hard, and I'm, I'm proud of the way they played. Front row again. Coach, uh, thought process and the fake punt? Well, I thought it was there, and we didn't execute it. You know, we just didn't execute it. And that's, again, that just, uh, you know, we were playing really well in all our special teams units, and, and we had a good fake. Uh, and, and it was set up and it was there. We just didn't execute it. So we, we, we didn't get it done. Front row, far left. Yeah, Larry, Sammy Dunn for the Fayetteville Observer. On the onside kick, were you pinpointing a particular area or a particular player to kick it at there? Uh, well, it's, it's based on some things that we're looking for. So I'd rather not tell you that because we, we may need it in the, the bowl game. So I prefer not to tell you. This is for Marquise and, and Larry, you as well. Okay. Um, Storyline this year has, has been about grit and talked a lot about how when you were down by 21 at Georgia Tech, nobody really panicked. Uh, was that the same situation tonight when you guys were down 19? Was there any change on the sideline and how you're approaching the game? Go ahead. Do you think it was? No, I mean, we kept fighting. 
I mean, we could have just let them keep running the score, but we continue to find ways to, to score the ball and stop them and continue to fight. You know, that's always going to be great in this team. That's, that was a punch this year. You know, that's what I love about this team. We fought. Nobody was down on the sideline. Everybody was saying we were still in it. And that's, that's what I love, man. Everybody loved to compete and have fun and continue just to have that grit in you. These guys, I mean, there was no, you know, yeah, they wanted to win. And they're they're in that locker room right now. And there's a lot of tears and, and a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. But, uh, you know, the, the, the fun thing about this group is, is what they got inside of them. And they never stopped fighting. And, and they never stopped believing. I mean, the way they were scrambling around, uh, you know, on those last two onside kicks, I mean, you could tell. They, they believed that we got that ball, we were going to win. And uh, they knew that that was all we needed to do. And so their, their effort was tremendous all night, and they do. They got a tremendous amount of grit and uh, really proud of, of the way these seniors led this team this year. Carl Rowe? With the timeout or with the challenge there on the second onside kick, were you confident that you guys had recovered it, or what did you think that? No, I wasn't, I wasn't confident. I wasn't confident at all, but I just I, I wanted them to take a look at it, and I was I was uh, I was really more upset about the previous one more than anything. So yeah, probably you know that'd been good to do. Yeah, Coach, no um, obviously you guys are very. You've been a while since you lost a game. Uh, you're really confident going coming into this one, losing this close one. You're still going to a really good bowl game, whichever you know, wherever you guys end up. How do you keep that confidence level up after this loss? Oh, our, our guys, there, there won't be a confidence problem. I mean, our, our guys believe in each other, and and uh, they believe they were going to win this game. I mean, they really did. I mean, they they they. I mean. The way they talk, it was going to be an upset if Clemson won. That's what they believed. And so, you know, they uh, they got plenty of confidence. This isn't going to affect their confidence. Did we play as well as we wanted to tonight? No. But uh, but they're, they're, I promise you, it won't it won't hurt their confidence. From row again. Ross Martin, 24-7 Sports. Um, your new contract was announced today, or the extension. What does uh, this season and making it to the ACC championship kind of mean for, for you and the, the program, program for the future? Well, I, I think just, you know, for our program, I mean, we, we the, the future is extremely bright, you know, and I think, you know, our administration sees that uh, this program is going in the right direction. They know what we've overcome, uh, and I think they're probably pretty excited about it also. And I know I know our players are, and I know the, the other players in the state, you know, that they see it, and they're excited about it. And so it, uh, it should be, you know, it should be some, uh, it should be some more fun in the future. Far left against the wall. Hey, Larry, Kermit Fem Radio in Baltimore. Talk about that interception against Watson. Did you see anything turn near to our two North Carolina's way with that big interception in the third quarter? Yeah, it was. I mean, every every time we get an opportunity to get a turnover, that's a big deal. And I mean, it was a, it was a, really a big play. Uh, and then we took it in after that, scored, I believe, on that series. You know, so that was huge. And uh, you know, that that's what started getting our momentum going. And, and guys, yeah, I just encouraged our guys because they were they weren't going to stop believing. Anyone else? Yeah. Front row. Could you actually comment on the contract? Uh, I don't. You know, I, I was really more concerned about the game, and so I would have to talk to my uh, my guys to find out uh, what all happened. <laughs> Anyone else? Front row. Thanks for your damn business. Players announced today that like Texas knows that Seth okay. is going to be the. Uh, New head coach, just your, your thoughts on that and the task of hiring a new offensive coordinator. Yeah, you know, Seth uh, Latrell, I can't say enough great things about what Seth did. Seth, Seth came into this program, you know, and he was the new guy in that room. Uh, you know, we asked him to come in and learn our offense and uh, learn our terminology and not step on any toes while he was in there and lead that group, and, and he did that. He did that. He did a tremendous job of that, and there's no doubt in my mind Seth's going to be a great head coach. Uh, he's, he's ready for this, and he and his wife, Becker, are just, you know, they've been unbelievable uh, parts of our staff, and we hate to see him go. But at the same time, it's extremely exciting also because he, you know, he's reaching a dream that he's got in his life, something that he's dreamed about is, is once he became a coach that he wanted to be a head coach, and he had this opportunity, and he felt like this was the right one. And it was it was a tough decision for him. I can tell you that because he uh, he battled it for a while, trying to decide what to do, and because he loves it here so much, he loves these players and, and he loves what we do. So, you know, going forward, we'll uh, we'll take our time. There won't be in any hurry. 
I can tell you the offense isn't going to change. So uh, no matter who we bring in, the, the biggest thing is this: the next person's going to, uh, you know, he's going to be able to adapt to what we do and, and uh, maybe bring something to it and add to it. But he's also got to be a person that, uh, that loves kids, you know, and wants to help develop these uh, young men into full-grown men. Game or is he leaving immediately? We we have not even we haven't talked about it yet. So we, we actually, you know, I mean Seth didn't want to talk about the situation, and I didn't want to talk about the situation. All we wanted to talk about was Clemson, and that's all we did. Okay, thank you. Right, thank you.